Hello there. Good morning. Welcome to Sabbath School. It's lovely to see you. Did you have a good week? I hope that you did because I think we should come and say hello to each other and we say good morning. There are lots of ways of saying good morning. We could shake hands, we could give a wave, we could go hi. There's so many ways of saying good morning. Now when we sing good morning to you as you come to Sabbath school, we normally shake your hand. But because I'm over here and you're over there, let's sing good morning to you by giving each other a big wave. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. and daddies yet have we? I think we should go and give away to our mummies and daddies. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? We're glad to see you, we're glad to see you this happy Sabbath day. Good morning, happy Sabbath everyone. I hope that you have a really lovely Sabbath and it's good to see you all. Sometimes when it rains and there's sun at the same time, we can see something really beautiful in the sky with lots of pretty colors. Can you think what I'm talking about? What do you think it is? I think some of you might be right. It's a rainbow. Can you see the pretty colors of my rainbow? So many beautiful colors. God made all those colors in our rainbow. Isn't it gorgeous? Now we are going to sing a rainbow in the sky says God loves you. Now rainbows are very high up in the sky, aren't they? They're way up in the sky. So I want you to put your hands in the air and wave them like this because we're gonna sing a rainbow in the sky says God loves you and his promises are true. Ready with your hands in the air to make your rainbow? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you and his promises are true. I bet your rainbows were so big and beautiful. Shall we do it again and make really big rainbows? Are you ready? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. And his promises are true. God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he wouldn't ever flood the earth again. So whenever you see a big, beautiful rainbow, know that it shows God's love for us, that he wants to keep us safe. There are lots of different ways that we can talk to people. At the moment, it's a bit more difficult because we can't see many people face to face. But normally we could go up to people, say hello, give a wave, give a big hug, and it's a lovely way to greet people. But if you know someone that lives a lot further away than you, so you can't see them in the street, then why don't you pick up a phone and give them a call? I've got family members that I can call on my phone. How about you go and get your phones from your mummies and daddies, and we can phone someone up. And while you're thinking about getting your phone, let's think about someone that we can call. Hmm, now I speak to my mummy a lot on the phone. Have you ever spoken to your mummy on the phone? You have? Well, why don't we take our phones, we dial in mummy's number, and we're gonna talk to mummy on the phone. Are you ready? I talk to mummy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to mummy on the phone, and she me, I know. Say bye bye, mummy. Bye bye. 
Okay. Hmm. I wonder who else we can talk to on the phone. We've spoken to Mummy. Why don't we speak to Daddy? Do we know Daddy's number? Okay, let's type in Daddy's number and speak to Daddy. Ready? I talk to Daddy on the phone. On the phone. On the phone. I talk to Daddy on the phone. And he hears me, I know. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Okay, hmm, we've spoken to mummy, we've spoken to daddy, I wonder does anyone have a brother? You ever spoken to brother on the phone? Let's dial in brother's number. Are you ready? I talk to brother on the phone, on the phone, on the phone, I talk to brother on the phone and he hears me. Okay, hmm. So if we speak to brother on the phone, I wonder if anyone has any sisters that they speak to on the phone. I'm sure someone does. How about we speak to them? Dial in sister's number. Ready? I talk to sister on the phone. On the phone. On the phone. I talk to sister on the phone. And she hears me. Bye bye, sister. Okay. We've spoken to quite a few people, haven't we? I wonder, has anyone spoken to grandma recently? Why don't we type in grandma's number? Let's call grandma. Are you ready? I talk to grandma on the phone. On the phone. On the phone. I talk to grandma on the phone. And she hears me. Okay, we've got time to call one more person. Let's think we've spoken to mummy, daddy, brother, sister, grandma. <gasps> we forgot grandpa. We need to call grandpa. Let's type in the number. Okay, you ready? I talk to grandpa on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to grandpa on the phone and he hears me. It's lovely to speak to lots of people, isn't it? It means we can keep in touch. But there's one person I want to talk to. I need the telephone number for Jesus. Has anyone got the telephone number for Jesus? What do you mean there's not a telephone number for Jesus? So how can I talk to Jesus if there's no telephone number? Wait, I don't need a phone to talk to Jesus. So I can talk to Jesus in another way. I can talk to Jesus when I pray. When I put my hands together and eyes closed, I talk to Jesus when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray. When I pray, when I pray, I talk to Jesus when I pray. And he hears me, I know. How about we talk to Jesus now? Hands together, eyes closed, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are keeping us all safe. Thank you that everyone is well and that you are looking after them, Lord. Please be with us. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week. Now we can be reunited together one day in Credo or Sabbath School, where we can all come together and worship you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do for us. In your name I pray. Amen. Well done, everyone. Well done for contacting and staying in touch with people, but also for praying so nicely with me. It's very dark in here, isn't it? Can you see me okay? I've got two little lights. They're lighting up the room for me. Have you got any lights at home? You can turn the lights out and you can look at your lovely little lights. Jesus gave us lights lovely lights that we want to let shine. Why don't you go find a light and we're going to sing this little light of mine. Have you found a light to use? Have you made the room all dark? Not scary dark, just a little dark. And then you can see with your lights. 
Let's sing this little light of mine. And I want your lights to dance around the room. Are you ready? Let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I can see all your lovely little lights dancing. Now, I wonder if we can hide our lights. Can you put your hand over your lights? Oh, I can't see. It's not very good to hide our lights. Satan wants us to hide our lights. So we're gonna do hide it under a bush. Oh no, we're gonna let our light shine. Are you ready? Hide it under a bush. Oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bush. Oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bush, oh no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good job, we really do want to let our light shine, don't we? Now there's a very nasty person out there who wants to blow our lights out. Well, Satan wants to blow our lights out, but we're not gonna let him. Don't let Satan blow them out. Are you ready? Don't let Satan them out. I'm gonna let shine don't let Satan wonder, could we take our lights all around our neighbourhood? We could let them shine all around the neighbourhood. Ready? All around the neighbourhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighbourhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighbourhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Are we just going to let our light shine for today and that's it? I don't think so. We should let our light shine forever until Jesus comes. So let's dance them around. We're going to sing until Jesus comes. Ready? Let them shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let them shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This little light of mine one more time. Ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well done, you let your lovely little light shine. We've now come to the time where we come and bring our pennies for Jesus. Have you got your pennies ready? I've got mine ready right here. Look, I've got my pennies ready and my penny pot. So I think it's time that you should go and get your pennies and your penny pot and we can do our offering together. Are you ready? Have you got your pennies? Then let's sing Hear the Pennies Dropping and come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Hear the pennies dropping in your penny pot. Well, I've put them all of mine in, so I think I should put the lid on mine. There we go. And let's sing a prayer over our offering. We're gonna sing, thank you for the world so sweet. So, hands together, eyes closed, and let's sing. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for good of you to come and bring your pennies for Jesus.
Good morning, everyone. Today's story is about Zacchaeus, who was a Jew, but who worked as a tax collector for the Romans. The Romans were the enemies of the Jews because they were constantly making them work hard and pay a lot of money for everything that they did. So Zacchaeus didn't have a lot of friends because they didn't like him working for the Romans. Also, he had a little problem. He wasn't very tall. So Zacchaeus's job was to collect tax. So he would go to people's houses and he would tell them, you owe the Romans 10 pounds when actually they owed the Romans five pounds. But he would ask for more, and people were really not having a lot of money. And then he would go to the next person and say, you owe the Romans 20 pounds, when actually they owed only 10 pounds. So he took more money, and he would take more than he should. And because he took all this extra money from the people, he was actually very rich. Look at all that money. But Zacchaeus heard about a man called Jesus who loved everyone, no matter how tall or how short or how honest or dishonest or how good or how bad they were. And the babies. And he loved the babies too. And he thought maybe this Jesus who loves everyone and is kind to everyone would like me too. Because deep down Zacchaeus knew that he wasn't a very honest man. And he wanted to be better. But he loved money so much that it was a bit hard to give it up. But he thought maybe if he met Jesus, and Jesus came to his house to eat and talk, maybe things will change. But one day Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming in his village. <gasps> hey guys, wouldn't that be great if we get to meet Jesus? Oh, probably Jesus wouldn't want to meet me. I'm a dishonest tax collector who loves money and doesn't have a lot of friends. But I would really like him to come to my house and eat and talk. That would be so great. Wouldn't that be great? But just like Zacchaeus, everybody else heard Jesus was coming and they all wanted to meet him. And, and remember what Zacchaeus' problem was? He wasn't very tall. So he couldn't see above everybody else. He couldn't see Jesus. Oh, that's not good. What can I do? Oh, he saw a tree and he thought, I'm going to climb up the tree. And then I'm going to have such a better view, better than everybody else. And nobody will see me up here, but I can see Jesus just fine. And Jesus was getting closer and closer. And he was talking and being kind to everyone and hugging babies and saying hello until he got really close, really close to the tree. And Zacchaeus' his heart was going boom, 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 boom. Oh no, he's so close to the tree. I wonder if he's going to see me. And Jesus stopped and he looked up to the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house today. And Zacchaeus thought, was, was, that, was that Jesus? Did, did, he, did he see me up here? I thought nobody could see me. And did he see Zacchaeus? How did he know my name? I, I've never met Jesus. He's never met me. How did he know my name? Oh, I better go down. Quick, quick, quick. Climb, climb down the tree. And he saw Jesus. And they gave each other a big hug. And Zacchaeus said, yeah. yes, come to my house. How, how did you know that I wanted you to come to my house? So they went to Zacchaeus' house where Jesus met his other friends, other tax collectors. And they went into the house. And they had dinner together. And they talked lots and lots and lots. And they had a good time. And from that day, once Zacchaeus met Jesus and he saw how much Jesus loved him, no matter how tall or how short or how honest or dishonest he was, he knew that deep down Zacchaeus was sorry for how he behaved and how much he loved money. So from that day, he changed his heart and he became an honest 
tax collector. And he decided that he was going to give all of his money that he took extra back to the people and to say, that is why I'm giving this back because Jesus loves me so much and I want to be a good man from now on. And just like Zacchaeus was changed from being a dishonest man, from not doing good things because he met Jesus and he accepted Jesus' love in his heart, he was changed. And from that day, he did very good things. We can be the same as Zacchaeus. We can do good things because we love Jesus and because Jesus loves us. And even when we do bad things, we can say we're sorry and we know that Jesus will forgive us. was a very little man. In fact, we can sing a song about him. So I need you all to stand up and I want you to pretend to be Zacchaeus, a very, very little man. Are you ready? Zacchaeus was a wee in our program where we say our memory verse together. Have you learnt your memory verse for this month? You have? Well why don't we say it together? Are you ready? Our memory verse this month is God. God written in red. Is. Is written in orange. Love. Love written in yellow. And our memory verse this month is found in 1 John 4 verse 8. 1st John 4 verse 8 written in green well done shall we say our memory verse all together after three one two three God is love 1st John 4 verse 8 let's say it again God is love 1st John 4 verse 8 well done you learn your memory verse how about we stand up and we sing, I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. Are you ready? I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. I'm glad I learnt my memory verse on this bright Sabbath morning. Well done, everyone. You learnt your memory verse. There are so many ways that we can praise our Lord together. But one of my favorite ways is singing hallelujahs to our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah means praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? So what we are going to do is we are going to sing hallelujah, hallelujah together. Now you know this one well, I'm sure. And when we sing hallelujah, you need to be sat down. And when we sing praise the Lord, you need to stand up. Okay, are you ready to try? I need everyone to sit down first. We're going to sing it slowly to begin with. Ready? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. 
well done everyone! Should we try it a bit faster? Who wants to try it a bit faster? Say faster! You wanna try it faster? Okay everyone, let's sit down. Ready for the hallelujahs? Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Oh, excellent job, you did so well. But, should we try it one more time? As fast as we can. <gasps> Who wants to try it as fast as we can? Should we try? Oh, good job, are you okay? You sat down, you all ready? Let's do this really fast. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise wonderful to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and sing hallelujahs to him. Well done everyone. We had so much fun today in Sabbath school, didn't we? We sang some songs, we had a great story and we learned our memory verse. So I think what we should do is we should close our Sabbath school with a prayer. So hands together, eyes closed and let's talk to Jesus and end our Sabbath school. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you that we had so much fun in Sabbath school today, learning all about you and being able to be together even though we're apart. Thank you, Father, for all that you do and please continue to keep us safe and well until we meet again. In your name I pray, Amen. Our Sabbath school is over, let's sing, ready? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye. you all and I hope that you continue to remain safe and I'll see you all next time